Hey guys, so let me ask you a question and perhaps this is a question you're asking yourself. Should I start a career? Should I jump into being a real estate agent or a realtor or a broker full time, specifically in Dubai? Perhaps this is a question you are asking yourself. How do you come up with the right answer for yourself? Show real fast. All right, guys, welcome back. So if you're asking yourself if you should join real estate, um, my personal advice to you is do a simple exercise, okay? I'm gonna give you two-fold advice, okay? One's gonna be practical and logical, and the other side's going to be, it's more about, I'll tell, I'll, we'll get to it, okay? So there's two sides. One part is, Sit down with yourself alone, somewhere quiet. Take about half an hour to an hour to yourself. And write down on a piece of paper your current age. So if you're 25 now, and write down on that same piece of paper what your age will be after 10 years, which will be 35. And then another 10 years, which will be 45. Then write down where you see yourself and envision yourself as to where you would like to be when you're 45 years of age, okay? Financially, how much money do you want to be making? How much money do you want to be saving? How much money do you want to be giving away to your favorite charities? How, what kind of family do you want to have? Do you want to travel? What kind of intellectual education do you want to have? What kind of spiritual growth? And what kind of fitness level do you want to have? Like, write down in these five areas, so, financial, family, health, spiritual, and there's one more, uh, intellectual, how you want to develop. And pick out just one, okay? That's the more simpler one to do because, you know, let's just look at financially, where do you see yourself financially in 20 years? So if your aim is to have like, I don't know, five houses or six Ferraris, and wherever you're currently working, draw up a path of where you would be. Like for example, like if 20 years from now you wanna be making a million dollars a year or a million dollars a month, wherever you're working right now, draw up your current path to 20 years. So if you're making a salary of let's say 20,000 dirhams per month at the moment, how far can you go in that career in five years, then 10 years, then 15 years, and then 20 years, right? So if you could actually, and your goal is to get to a million dollars a month, but in five years you could grow to the max that you could, but in five years after that you could start a business in the same industry and get to a million dollars, hey, listen, you're gonna be able to meet your financial goals. So don't go into real estate just trying to meet your financial goals because there are other paths available for you. I hope that's making sense. But if you don't see a clear path, financially speaking, of where you want to go, then perhaps real estate is something you would like to look at, okay? That's number one. However, do not think of real estate as a part-time career where you can dilly-dally and join it and then be like, mm, don't really care, maybe it works out, maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't work out, I'll go do something else. That's number one. Number two, let your inner being be a source of guidance for you let your soul guide you like you know sometimes some people are so sure I want to use the word dead sure but you know that's a negative word so let's not use that so darn sure that they want to be in real estate there is no other thing that they want to do and you know they're like darn sure that they're going forward with that and it kind of becomes sort of like a clear inner calling so allow that to come up because if you're not very clear and you do join, you won't last too long. But once you're inspired or if you're inspired, listen to your voice. 
so do the logical practical thing and weigh the pros and cons of going into real estate full time that's number one that's one side the other side is look at your inner being not look at feel your inner being it's i know it's a very vague thing for me to say okay look at your feel your inner being what the what on earth is far talking about but you know Debra, sometimes you get inspiration towards something, right? It just feels right. Everybody gets that, right? Mahanur, sometimes you get that. When did you have that last time? Did you have that sometime? When you wanted to buy something, get something, do something? Did you feel inspiration sometime maybe? Yes, okay. Do you remember an example for that? Okay, will you tell me afterwards when you do remember? All right, okay, thanks. That's my daughter. So sometimes you get that and you're like, boom, and it makes life easier. So look at the practical aspects, the logical side, but listen to your inner being. Let your inner being guide you. If it's not for you or if you've got too many doubts, don't do it because, you know, you don't want to waste your time and other people's time. You want to go into it with a little bit of commitment and a clarity from your inner being so you can last the course and enjoy the journey. And let success come to you. All right, ciao for now. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. My name is Fahad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in 2006 in Toronto, Canada, and since 2007, I've been practicing real estate in Dubai. If you want to work with me, reach out. There's a forum and a mobile number that you can reach out to be able to work with me. I do do paid consulting to help you with my services. My team and myself are available. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends so that they may be able to benefit from the advice given here. My role, my goal is to invest in your life and your future. Thanks for watching.